The black box flight data of UPS-6 has been downloaded. Investigators study each parameter, trying to reconstruct how the plane broke down over time. The next step is to map the failures and use them to trace the path of the fire. The data paints a vivid picture of an intense fire that burned through the cargo hold at a critical location. All the failures are right here behind the cockpit. So what was in the containers beneath those systems? Bingo. Lithium batteries. In the crowded cargo deck, the flames soon spread to other containers, many of which also contained batteries. Fire, main deck forward. By the time the crew gets a warning, the fire is already burning too intensely for the suppression system to put it out. The manual flight control system is in the direct path of the fire. Luckily, the autopilot system is not. It can still send electrical signals directly to the servos that operate the plane's controls. But when the pilot switches off the autopilot, the plane becomes nearly impossible to fly. I have no pitch control of the airplane. Fire quickly destroys more systems, including the captain's oxygen supply and the landing gear controls. I have no gear. But Straker believes that tragedy would have been even worse if not for the final actions of the first officer. 300 feet, any runway is available. At the last moment, in a plane he could barely control. If able, climb immediately, climb immediately. He manages to narrowly avoid a suburb of Dubai. Investigators have one final question. The 747's cargo area is equipped with a flame-resistant liner. It wraps the entire cargo hold in a protective shield. It should have protected the critical systems. Investigators need to know why the cargo liner failed. It's now certain that an intense fire fueled by a large cargo of batteries crippled UPS Flight 6. To find out how fire could have burned through the plane's protective cargo liner, investigators conduct another dramatic test. The cargo liner failed. The flames spread quickly, eating through vital control systems. The final report highlights the need for better smoke detectors and fire extinguishers in cargo holds. It also calls for new fire-resistant cargo containers. At UPS, the entire company mourned the loss of their colleagues. Even before the report came out, they took steps to keep their pilots safer. The company is testing a new cargo container that can withstand a 1,200-degree fire for up to four hours. UPS has also improved safety in the cockpit. The new system creates a sealed air bubble for the pilots that allows them to see both their instruments and the view ahead if the cockpit ever fills with smoke.